Fortunately, we have to see you away from the track. Of course, you have this injury now. Um, first of all, can you please tell us all to end any speculation exactly how it happened? Yeah, unfortunately, uh, so I was I was uh, with the enduro bike with uh, with all my friends uh, to make uh, a tour around uh, the the center hills uh, behind the Urbino uh, in the in the countryside. But is uh, is uh, is, a, is, a, is a thing that I, I I do from when I was 18. Uh, together with my father, so it's a long, long time. Uh, but unfortunately, very close to the end, in uh, one uh, downhill, uh, I was very, very low speed. But uh, I take, I think, I take one rock, or anyway, I, I lose the the steering, and for don't crash, I put my foot uh, on the ground, but was uh, a bit downhill, so all the weight of the bike on the leg and uh, broken. I mean. You've had the operation now. Tell us, how are you feeling physically, but also mentally, this, this disappointment of not, of not being able to race, especially in your home race? You know, uh, the leg is, is uh, painful, uh, but in general I feel, I feel good, but it's a lot worse than the mental, no? the, the mental condition, because it was a great, great shame, uh, throwing away uh, all the chance for the championship, uh, and also race uh, in Misano in front of all the fun in front uh, in, in the in my home Grand Prix in front of all the crowd is a great great shame and uh, I have to say t uh, sorry also to all my team for for uh, for don't race but unfortunately it's like this and uh, now we have to work for uh, come back as soon as possible Talking about work, talking about training, obviously in the media there has been lots of talk, maybe some fans, some people criticising these training methods, you know, enduro, motocross, but I mean, how, how do you respond to that? I mean, maybe you could say, how much, how much slower would you be if you didn't train like this? Uh, it's always, uh, we speak a lot about this. Um, for us, uh, uh, we are motorcycle riders and uh, the best train is uh, ride the motorcycle. Uh, but unfortunately, something sometimes more, sometimes less. When you are on a motorcycle, is dangerous. Uh, we, we we cannot uh, uh, train sometimes with the, with the motorcycle because it is very important. Uh, uh, but you know, uh, unfortunately, this year happened to me two times because also before Mugello. So we need to 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 make uh, in another way. Finally. When are you going to be back? What have the have the doctors told you anything, or are you thinking there's maybe a, a certain track where there's not too much pressure on the leg? I don't know, maybe more more teggy. Have you have you got an idea? Allora, mm, I learned from the the other time that uh, in this uh, phase, in this part of the re-education, uh, you have to live day by day. Depends very much from the leg. Uh, depends very much from the pain. Uh, uh, we already we already work. Uh, we try to work as soon as po to come back as soon as possible. So the next uh, race after Misano is Aragon. Uh, but I think that will be very very hard because it's just uh, 22 days after uh, after the injury. So it's uh, just uh, three weeks. We need uh, like the double or minimum 40 days. La last time I, ca I come back after 40 days. Uh, but uh, this time the fracture is, is uh, better, is le less painful, uh, but uh, it's very early to, to say, uh, if I'm not able in Aragon, I will try for Motegi. Well, Valentino, your fans, they will still be watching Misano, they will still be watching the races and they'll be hoping for you to come back. Do you have any message for them? Ciao to, to all the fans from, uh, from Valentino. It's, it's a great shame to don't race here in Misano in my home Grand Prix. Uh, but uh, I will try the maximum. I will work every day for come back as soon as possible. And uh, thanks uh, a lot to everybody for the support.